Hey, it's Robin and I have a ton of stairs in my house. It was nothing for me before this injury to do 20 flights of stairs in a day. And that's like down and up, that's one. So uh, I work out in the basement, um, you know, we have a fridge down there where we keep stuff. I'm always running down to get stuff. And uh, my bedroom is upstairs and the kids' bedrooms are upstairs. And so there's just, I've always just done a lot of stairs and it's been no big deal because of course I could do them and it, you know, it's part of my being active. And so it never bothered me. But now that I have this injury, stairs are a little bit of a different matter, but I can still do them. I just have to do them differently with crutches and it is more like a workout now than it was before. So I had somebody request me to, for me to show you how I do stairs and so this is the best setup I can find. I need a videographer assistant I think to help me. Um, so I don't know, you'll probably be cut off at the top but you'll be able to see the crutches and my feet and that's the important part. So here we go. So when you have crutches, you want to make sure that they're at a good height. So that you have two finger widths between your armpit and your crutch. You don't want to be leaning on them because you're going to cause compression in your armpit. It's no good. And you also want your um, the hand part to be at your wrist when your arm is relaxed to your side. So these are perfect for me. Uh, so I'm going to head towards the stair. I hope you can hear me while I'm turned around. And if I didn't have a railing, I would have a crutch on each side. But because I have a railing, the railing is more sturdy. And so I like to use that. So I transfer the crutches to one hand. And I can't put any weight right now on my injured foot, so I have to keep it up in the air at all times. So I'm totally gonna be supporting my body weight when I go up the stairs on my upper body. So one hand on the railing, one hand on the crutches. And I like to hold my crutches together in one hand like this. I find it works for me. Some people prefer to have the crutch like this and they find that easier, so whatever works for you, you know, it's totally fine. I just, I'm used to this way and I find it easier, so do what works. But some people find their hands aren't big enough to hold on to both crutches this way, because um, you're holding on to both the big handles, and so this way you have a better grip. Okay, so let's go. I just have the, a small set, we have landing at the top of the stairs and then a, a small set of four stairs, so that's what I'm gonna go up. So I am gonna put all my weight through the crutches and my arm and it, I find it easiest to rest my elbow down and that gives me that gives me the most leverage and then I am going to pop my good foot my strong foot which in my case is my left foot up onto the stair just like this that's all there is to it and then I lift my crutches up to the next stair and keep going and now I'm at the top so now I'm going to turn around and it's just the reverse going down. So you want to think about the good going to heaven and the bad going to hell. So the good foot is going to come up first and the bad foot is going to go down first. And the crutches always stick with the sore leg. I don't mean on the same side because you always want to have the crutches on the, on the different side as the railing. But your crutches and your leg are going to go up and down at the same time. So going down, my bad leg is going to go first, my injured leg and my crutches are gonna go down with it. So I'm gonna have this leg out in front of me. I'm not gonna put any weight on it because I'm not allowed and I'm not gonna mess this up. And uh, this healing up, my crutches go down. And then again, I'm gonna put my full weight on my arms, on my crutches and my railing to lift myself down to the next step. And so on, and so on, until I'm down again. Okay, so that's it, that's all there is to it. So it's really not that bad um, once you get used to it. And it's, it's much easier once you get over the acuteness of the injury and you're not having a ton of pain. That's where I was finding it really hard. But if you're really struggling at first or if you have a day where you're feeling really unsteady, you can always go up and down on your bum. So that just would involve using the railing and your crutches to lower yourself down. And then of course you still have to get your crutches up the stairs while raising yourself up and then just the reverse to come down and then you, you can sit on kind of the second step usually is what works best and use the railing and the crutches to stand up so that's it i i did i did that for the first few days probably uh especially at night when i was feeling tired 
And another tip is if you need to carry stuff up and down the stairs, do not try to carry something extra in your hand, especially if you've already got two crutches in one hand, it's just not gonna be safe. So I use this backpack. I don't put much in it. Usually it's my water bottle and my ice pack. <laughs> and that's what I carry upstairs with me at night when I go to bed. And the same thing, then I can take them down in the morning and refill my ice pack with fresh ice and get some new water. And uh, that's what I do. You don't wanna carry anything heavy up and down the stairs because you don't want it to throw you off balance. But you don't wanna be trying to carry something in your hands either. So if you need to carry something light, just use a backpack. It works really well. And I use it a lot around, I actually stick it on my scooter because I use my scooter a lot in the house. And my scooter is something that I can put my knee on and just scoot around so that I'm not putting any weight through that foot, but I can use my hands a little bit more. So it just makes it a little bit easier to do things in the kitchen and that sort of thing. Um, but those are my tips. And I'm impressed. It's not, you know, it is getting a lot easier to do stairs. And it's like anything. The more you do it, the easier it gets. So I hope you guys all have a great day. I gotta make my way over here and go up this one little step <laughs> to turn it off. Have a great day.